then we are off to try to go bobsledding, which we'll see if I actually end up going. Latvia, my home country, in my opinion, is Europe's best kept secret. Imagine ancient castles with almost no tourists, sandy beaches for miles upon miles, greenery that feels like something out of a fairy tale, natural and untouched nature, lively culture and delicious food, and a feeling of home felt only by the heart. If you can't place Latvia on a map, it's okay. But by the end of this series, we think you'll be convinced to add this wonderful country to your bucket list. Welcome to Latvia. So we basically stayed in this Airbnb and there's a little white cat that just walked in. So now we're waiting for the cat to leave. You can see well over there. We're gonna go to Sigulda and we're gonna go grab some breakfast and then we are off to try to go bobsledding, which we'll see if I actually end up going. It seems terrifying. It's hot today. Yeah, it's really hot. Wow. You gotta wear shorts. Yeah. You wanna change real quick? What if it's not hot all day? Right. <laughs> Welcome back. We look tired. Yeah, I know. I feel a little tired, but after some coffee. Yeah, we need coffee ASAP. And some nice pastry thingies from that place. Yeah, we just eat. I feel like we just go to the same places every day. They're our favorite place in Sibulda. It's hot in here, guys. The AC has to come on. The cat wants to go back in. This is where we've been going in Sigulda. This is the best place to get coffee. There's a caffeine in there, and then there's also some pastry shops. There's just a lot in there, and it's, it's really awesome. It's in a convenient location. We just got our breakfast. Lizzie got a nice caramel donut type thing. It's so good. We got two of these salami stick type things. And then we also got Four pierogies. Pierogies. Yeah. Oh, they're hot. They're hot? Wow. They're warm. These ones look legit. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That feels like so nice. Yeah, like toasty. Oh, wow. This one's puffy. Wow. Mmm. Those are so good. Mmm. They're so good. Wow. That is nice. I think this is my new favorite food. The bread and bacon? Yeah. We, we had like four of these each yesterday at the palace. Yeah, I downed it. All right, we just finished our breakfast and our coffee. We have a little more coffee left. I have a lot of coffee. <laughs> you have a lot, I finished mine. Now we're on our way to go bobsledding. Which we're super excited for. Very excited. Yeah. So. Well. I don't, I don't a hundred percent know if I'm going. I'm gonna watch it first, and then I'll decide. Yeah, you're gonna go. I feel like you're gonna want to. Where else could you go? I'm not bob an sledding? adrenaline junkie, and I have like, I feel like I get very nervous. But we'll see. Like, we'll see yeah. what the process is. If it looks good, then I'm gonna do it. Obviously. Yeah. It just seems like such a unique thing to be able to do in the middle of the summer to, to go on a bobsledding. There's, it's like, yeah, just the track. There's no snow or anything, obviously, but yeah, yeah it's like a summer bobsled. And right. they take you down the track with, I think, like 13 turns, and I think it goes like 85 kilometers per hour. Yeah, we'll see. So. Let me find <clears throat> the address, guys. Hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Uh, We're so excited for this. I, well, I, I already uh, told them how nervous I am. Mm -hmm. End up going. I am. I've been waiting all week to do this because it's only available on Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. Last time we were here, it wasn't available. 
It's a pretty town though, so I don't really yeah, mind. Yeah, it's fun. I like really like Seagull though. Yeah, I don't really mind like coming, coming back. Yeah, coming here, back yeah. and going to our favorite places again. <laughs> We just arrived at the bobsled track. Yeah, Look at that, it's beautiful. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't think anyone else looks nervous here, except me, but. Karen A, I blame you on your video. You're making me nervous. Like, look up there. We're not going up there. I don't think you no. could get up there. Maybe that's just for winter. Yeah, yeah. So excited. We're way too awesome. excited for this. This is gonna be awesome. I'm so, I'm like shaking. I'm like, <laughs> I don't understand how you're ready for this. That's gonna be awesome. It's so cool. I'm not exactly excited. Get our tickets. Modern investments. We're so excited. It's gonna be amazing. No, I'm nervous. <laughs> How are you ready for this? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm just yeah, it's too small. Oh my god. How's it feel? So nice and snug. Look at my feet. <laughs> oh wow, that's so much faster than I thought it was going to be. Wow. <laughs> that was fun. That was so cool. Probably a lot scarier than I thought it was going to be, but it was yeah. really fun. It was so much faster than I thought. It was fun. Yeah, that was, really that was fun. so cool. That was awesome. I think the thing I was yeah. expecting is like my shoulders kept hitting the sides. And yeah. I didn't really know how to stop that. So like, You're just like bouncing back know. and forth the whole time. That was really fun though. I definitely yeah. recommend doing it. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, it was one of the coolest things I think I've ever done. So that cool. That was really fun. Yeah, just super unique. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I think this is the only bobsled in the world that lets you like try it. Yeah, it probably is one of the only ones. I think ones, it is yeah. one of the only ones. Yeah. Too. So that, that was just, I mean, it was awesome though. I mean, it's so much faster than I thought. Like you're just like I mean, shaking back just, and forth. Yeah. Like, I felt it in my stomach. I too. felt I like, it in my oh. legs. <laughs> I was smiling the whole time though. Yeah, was so fun. cool. I was worried was awesome. that there would be like bugs in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. It was really fun though. Yeah, so cool. Definitely like scary. 100% recommend. But like it wasn't scary, it was just fast. So, yeah, you really couldn't see, you can't, can't really see anything. <laughs> If you make it down here, you have to do it. I think it's one of the only bobsled tracks, like Olympic bobsled tracks, that have like this like kind of touristy thing that you can do. Will just flew the drone. That's cool. So yeah, some, some cool shots. shots. Yeah, kind of terrifying, but I, I think I got some shots of it. Yeah. And it was 12 euros a person, but totally worth it. So, and only cash, which we did not know. I'm glad we had cash. So, bring cash if you are coming here. And we're going to head off to Guldiga. And we're gonna stop off in Riga to get me some pants because my pants ripped on the bike trip. <laughs> and I only brought two pairs. And the pair I'm wearing today, they're really cute, but they're not like great for like if we're going on a hike or something. So we just picked up dinner and pants. Yeah, we went to the Spice Mall. It's uh, in Riga. Yeah, and um, now we're on our way to Guldiga. And 
it's about 140 kilometers away. Yeah, it says it'll be about a two hour drive in the rain. So that's I mean, it looks fun. kind of right over yeah, there. Yeah, maybe up there. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, we're gonna go to our Airbnb and maybe walk around we'll yeah. a little bit. Tonight. I think our Airbnb is pretty central. central Hopefully, we can find parking of... that is like overnight. Yeah, did they say anything about parking? No, but I will check. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense because it's so green that like you would think, you know, yeah, things are well watered. Well yeah. Watered, yeah. <laughs> might, if we, we extend our trip, we might do bungee jumping in Segulda. We're thinking about it. They have a tandem, so we could both do it at the same time together. Yeah. We can leave them. 